Dear viewers, welcome to our lesson today in Form 2 Mathematics. I'm your online teacher, Mr. Steve Gitao. In our channel at Steve Gitao 660, we look at a series of lessons including simplifying uh, quadratic expressions using the quadratic identities. Before we look at the lesson, allow me to give a green light on how we have organized our channel. We have put our videos in form of playlists for every form. Form 2 Mathematics and Form 2 Chemistry. Form 3 Mathematics and Form 3 Chemistry and so on across all the classes. That way, you will be able to focus on the particular form you are interested in. Otherwise, we also have the videos available on the general platform and you can view even for other forms. Kindly subscribe on this video and on the, on, the, on the channel so that we may grow the channel. Also, once you subscribe, I'll be able to uh, let you know the moment I upload a new video in the channel. Straight away, let's come to the lesson. We are looking at how do we simplify uh, various quadratic expressions using the quadratic identities. Which ones are these? We start with them. The, the quadratic identities are number one, we have a plus b squared. Remember a quadratic expression or equation has the highest power of the unknown being 2. How do we go about this one? We may use the factorization approach whereby power 2 means this item multiplied by itself. That means a plus b multiplied by a plus b. And what does that give us? It gives us, uh, I come down here, a multiplied into this, that is a into a plus b plus b into this one, we get a plus b. And that gives us a by a is a squared, a by b is a b, a by uh, we are through with that part, b times a is the same as a times b because in multiplication the order does not matter. So we have b times a can be shown as the same as a times b. So I write a b and then finally b squared. And that means putting the terms together, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is the quadratic identity when we have the addition of two numbers. That is uh, part one of the identity or the first identity that we have. Number two, when we have minus, what happens? a minus b squared will give us a minus b multiplied by itself, a minus b. So what does that give us? We have a into this part, a minus b, minus b into this a minus b. And that gives us a squared, a by minus b is minus ab, a by minus b is minus ab, plus negative b times negative b is positive b squared and that finally gives us a squared minus twice a b one negative one subtract negative one gives us negative two so a b plus b squared and therefore a minus b here squared gives us this identity which we have at that uh, level so this is b squared the third one is what is going to be very, very critical to us today, indeed what we call the difference of two squares. Where does it come from? We have a minus b whenever it is multiplied by a plus b. We was likely to note the change in the sign here. a minus b, a plus b. What does it give us? How do we compute it? We get a for this term multiplied by what we have here, a plus b, we get negative b. 
uh, multiply, we bring it here, a plus b. I do it again, a multiplied by this, negative b multiplied by this, and that's what we have here. Open up the brackets, we get a squared plus ab negative b multiplied by a is the same as a multiplied by negative b and that gives us negative a b then minus b multiplied by positive b gives us a negative b squared uh, viewers I'd like us to see positive a b subtract a b this part uh, is our uh, get finished we have this cancelling of uh, that one and so we get this as a squared minus b squared is the result from a minus b and multiplied by a plus b and that is the third identity for our, our work uh, today and this is what we in a special way call the difference the difference of two squares the difference of two squares and it can be shown in other forms take for example if you have x squared minus y squared where does it come from we get it from x minus y the first factor x plus y uh, the other factor so difference of two squares can be shown in very many uh, forms as we have here however we need to use it as we have shown here and this is what we mean by an identity you can match this with other algebraic factors straight away I would like us now we look at a few questions which uses these identities in solving the particular questions that we shall have let's look at question number one in question number one we have simplify Simplify the expression. Simplify the expression nine a cubed nine a cubed b minus four a b four a b um, cubed. Four a b cubed. This one we have divided by six a squared minus four a b cubed. Four a b cubed. Now in this case, we may opt to simplify and then we check. Which quadratic identity can work for us in this question here? If you look at uh, the numerator, it has power 3 and the terms are not all to the same power. So where we have an excess like a power 3 and a here, we can factor out a in the numerator, in the numerator we shall have a factored out and b is common we factor out a b and we shall be left with 9 a squared a power 1 times a power 2 gives us a power 3 then we have factored out b and the other part has 4 we factored out a here we are left with we factored out 1b we write with the b squared. In part, in the numerator, in the denominator, we shall have, um, we can factor out what is common there. You, you realize that in this case, we have an a which is common and a b which is common. So we can work out uh, even a two. Uh, we have a two which is common, so we can factor out 2 and then that leaves us with a 3 here and here we are left with a 2. We factor out a, we factor out an a and that leaves us with an a here 
and this one is outside the bracket. We factor out a b. Indeed, uh, yes, we can factor out a b, and that leaves us one b here, and uh, uh, b squared at that point. We we have the b squared at that point. Um, that way, we shall be in a very good uh, position to see uh, what we are having. Now, if you look at this, this AB cancels out with this AB, and that gives us 9A squared minus 4B squared all over, we have 2 into uh, 3a b minus 2b squared. In the numerator, we can spot one of the identities which is difference of two squares. The difference of two squares. So we are going to take uh, at this point, we can work out the numerator and delight it as 3 a everything squared minus 4 the 4 becomes 2 b everything squared at this point therefore we give this as we break it down to the two parts as 3a minus 2b and 3a plus 2b then we look at the denominator. If you look at the denominator, the, the denominator has further factorization which we can do. There is a b here which is common and one b here which is also common. So factoring out the b, the denominator becomes 2b into, we get this b outside here with 3a minus the b is squared at this point, we get b, one b out, we are left with 2b. So at this point, we have two parts. This is the numerator and this is the denominator. So if we put the numerator once more together with the denominator, what do we get? We get that 3a minus 2b into brackets 3a plus 2b all over 2b into 3a minus 2b. At this point, we are able to spot a common factor, this one and this one. So, we divide it by it, we get 1, we divide it by it, we get 1, and that leaves us with 3a plus 2b divided by uh, 2b. And we stop at that. Viewers, it is important to notice that this b cannot divide this one because it is tied by the addition sign at this point. So with that one, we look at how do we give the math points. The moment the student is able to work on the numerator to its simplest factors, we give m1. And the same case, you work on the denominator to its simplest form, M1 and at times that mark can be given at this level and then the accuracy here A1 and that way this question scores the three marks out of three marks. Let's move on to question number two. Almost in a similar way we look at question number two. In question number two we have simplify Simplify the expression given as 3x squared minus 4xy plus y squared all over 9x squared minus y squared. So viewers, at this point, we see the two parts. 
one part, the numerator, which requires solving by factorizing, and the denominator requires solving by use of the quadratic identity number three, difference of two squares. One of the best approaches here is to work out the two parts separately and then put them together. That way, the question does not look bulky, but looks rather simplified. So let's move on. In the numerator, we are finding 3x squared minus 4xy plus y squared. This is a quadratic expression which requires that we work out by factorization. We look for two numbers whose product is 3, two numbers whose product, when you multiply the two numbers, you get a 3, whose sum, the sum, PS product sum is negative 4. We work it out in our minds and we check which set of numbers can give us that. When you multiply them, you get 3. When you add them, you get negative 4. I want to believe you are, so you are able to get that as negative 1 and negative 3. When you multiply, you get positive 3. Negative 1 by negative 3 is positive 3. When you add, negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. These two numbers, you will come and substitute them at the middle term. What do we get? We get 3x squared minus, let's start with 3, 3xy subtract 1xy plus y squared, and that is our expression. By grouping the first two, we group the first two, and then we group the last batch there. What is common in 3x squared and 3xy? We find that 3x is common, we are left with an x. We factor out 3x here, we get y. And then, what is common in 1xy and in y squared? A y is common. Now this y, we can factor it out as negative. So that's negative and another negative here will give us this positive. So if I remove an x, neg negative y here, we are left with x. If I remove a negative y here, we are left with a, a, a negative y. Viewers, it is important to notice at this point, at this point, negative y by negative y will give us positive y squared. And that is what we have up there. So at this point, we put right terms together, we have 3x minus y. Ideally, they are not like terms, but they are the multipliers to this factor. So, the two multipliers, bring them here, and the other multiplier, x minus y, you pick on one of them. Uh, this is an, uh, a concept which we have explained in our earlier videos, whereby we, we compare this working with the situation whereby if you are having 7 into a plus b, are added or subtract 3 a plus b then the result is 7 minus 3 and a plus b which gives you 4 into a plus b that is we are drawing a parallel to that situation whereby these are multipliers we bring them together like we have brought them together here then these are the common factors a plus b a plus b we bring them together and that makes the part which we are calling the numerator. Let's look at the denominator. In the denominator, 9x squared minus y squared is rather simple because we need to see what were the two squares that have been subtracted. We show this one as 3x everything squared minus y squared. And that comes to be 3x minus y the first part, uh, sorry, 3x minus y, then 3x plus y, the second part. Difference of two squares. So, um, if, if we can show that in that form, the first part squared minus this square is coming up to be negative here, positive here. 
Straight away now we put numerator over the denominator and what do we get? Our numerator is 3x minus y, x minus y, whereas the denominator is 3x minus y into 3x plus y. So this cancels out to that, this cancels out to that, and we get x minus y all over 3x plus y. This expression is in the simplest form, and so we leave it at that point. Finally, we look at the way we award marks in this question. Uh, we need to um, see that. At times, the examiners will look at your numerator. Why you able to factor it out? And at that point, given M1, what about the denominator? Why you able to factor it out? Give the correct factors, M1 and then A1, uh, 3 out of 3. So in short, what we are saying is that the factorization should lead to this uh, part where numerator is correct, denominator is correct with these factors, all the factors well placed and the student is able to score the three marks. We are going to move on to question number three, four and five, whereby I will give you time, you work on your own, test the skills that so far we have given and then play on the video to check how you are fairly. Let's go to question number three, four and five. In our question number four, we have simplified the expression 16m squared minus 9n squared all over, I'm going to divide by 4m squared minus mn minus 3n uh, squared. So once more, uh, in our solution, we agree you can split this into two parts whereby you have the numerator. The numerator can be rewritten to match difference of two squares. 16 is a perfect square of 4. So we have 4m, uh, that is the first square, subtracted by 3n is our second square. And that comes to be 4m minus 3n. And the partner to this is 4m plus 3n. So that makes the simplification of the numerator directly by use of identity number three, the one we call difference of two squares. We look at denominator. In the denominator, that is 4m squared minus mn minus 3n squared. Here, we need to look for two numbers whose product is 4 times negative 3, and that is negative 12, uh, uh, whose sum is negative 1. Which are these two numbers, which when you multiply, you get negative 12, and when you add them, you get negative 1. Surely these numbers must be very close, and 1 is in the negative. So a time, uh, take negative 4 and 3. When we multiply them, the product is negative 12. When we add negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. We bring that and substitute to the middle term and we get 4m squared. We start with the 4, negative 4m. We move to uh, plus 3mn minus now this one, 3n squared. Uh, we pair these two and do the factorization and that gives us 4m into m minus we factor out 4m in 4mn we are left with an n plus in 3mn if we remove outside the bracket the 3n an m will be left minus we factor out 3 and one of the n's, we are left with an n, one n. So, these are the multipliers to these factors, 
So we put them together, 4m plus 3n and m minus n. So that forms the denominator. We put them together with the numerator in the final set as numerator all over denominator is equal to we have 4m minus 3n then we have 4m plus 3n divided by 4m plus 3n and m minus n and that gives the results with this divided by 1 this device will get 1 and that comes to be 4m minus 3n all over uh, m minus n. Once more, we do the marking for this and you realize that, as we have said, the moment you are able to factorize the numerator, and I can see it here, then I will give you m1 earliest possible. Possibly not even waiting for uh, this uh, step to be put. I check on the denominator and see the factors m1, they are okay here, and this is an a1, and that gives you 3 out of 3 in that particular question. Let's look at question number 5. In question number 5, we are seeing um, 15a squared b minus 10ab all over 3a minus 5ab plus 2ab. We are required to simplify that one. Make it simple. And I believe now, uh, viewers, you are able to capture the skills and the tricks that we use to solve this kind of a question. Whereby you look at simplifying both numerator and denominator separately. So if we take on the numerator, we shall have what is common in 15 and in 10. A 5 is common. What is common in a squared and in a? And a is common. What is common in b and in this uh, b that we have there? Maybe we do some editing. This is supposed to be b squared. Viewers, note that change. So we are saying b and in b squared we have one b. So we factorize that and we get um, we are left with 1a, the b is gone, sorry, let's start with this. In 15, we factor out um, 5 and that will leave us a 3, a 3b. We factor out 5 and we are left with a 2, uh, and that, uh, sorry, not a 3b at this level, b is gone, a 3a, and here we have a 2b all over um, the parts that we shall get under the numerator. So let's work out numerator and, and denominator separately. We move to the denominator. 3a squared minus 5ab plus 2b squared. We need numbers whose product is 3 times 2. Two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is a negative 5. Which two numbers can we add? We get negative 5. Can we multiply? We get 6. And that comes to be negative 2 and negative 3. When we add the 2, we get negative 5. When we multiply the 2, we get a positive 6. These two numbers, we bring them over here. And we get 3a squared minus, let's start with the 3. We got the 3ab, we are substituting them on this level, minus now 2ab, then finally bring this one here to b squared. Group this and factorize what is common. 3a is common, and you are left with a. Factoring 3a from 3ab, we get b. In 2ab and in 2b squared, we have a 2b which is common, negative 2b, we are left with an a. To ensure that the positive is remaining at this point, we have minus uh, b. 
2b negative 2b times negative b is positive 2b putting like terms together 3a minus 2b and a minus b uh, uh, comes to be the simplified version of the denominator now we put numerator over the denominator and we obtain for the numerator we have for the numerator we have 5a and b into 3a minus 2b for the denominator we have this as 3a minus 2b and a minus b so we simplify this and we get all these cancel out 1 divided by this we get 1 and that comes to be 5ab whole over a minus b so this gives us the simplified form of our work and once more we mark as the numerator well done the denominator well done and the final answer here a1 and that's being a short answer question we are able to score three out of three let's look at the final question uh, in our lesson today and that is question number six in question number six we are required to simplify the quadratic the expression actually this is more cubic but we shall reduce it to its quadratic form the highest power to be 2 so we find that there is an x here an x here and an x here in factor 6 there is 2 a 2 here and a 2 here so in the numerator we can factor out 2x and what do we get we are left with 3 x squared we factor out 2x we get 4 x y we factor out the x squared and we are left with plus y squared the 2x is outside the bracket there now maybe looking at this question uh, we can uh, harden up and say that we work out together with the denominator let's attempt that we divide by the denominator all over what is common in this two you realize that here we have a 2x which is common and a 2x which is also common here y is not common here so we also don't have x squared being common here so the match is common is a 2 and an x if you remove a 2x here, you're left with a 9x squared. That's a plus. If you remove a 2x here, you're left with a y squared. So the question is becoming simpler because if you look at the denominator, we can spot difference of two squares. Once more, this factor uh, cancels out or divides out with that one, and the two are now in a simplified version. At this point, we can take the numerator separately and ask ourselves 3x squared minus 4xy uh, minus plus y squared, which are those two numbers whose product is 3 and whose sum is ne uh, negative 4. We look for two numbers whose sum is negative 4 and whose product is uh, positive 3. And this one will give us a negative 3 and a negative 1. Multiply the 2, you get positive 3. Add the 2, you get negative 4. So bringing this in the middle term gives us 3x squared. Let's start with the 3, negative 3, xy, plus we bring in the negative 1, sorry, negative 1, xy, plus the y squared, this one here. So factoring out, we get 3x is common, we are left with x minus y, and in this one, y is common, so that we are left with it. Uh, x minus y times minus y will give us y squared. Putting these two together, 3x minus y into x minus y gives us the factors of the numerator. And then finally, we put the numerator over the denominator and we get uh, the numerator gave us okay 
uh, beg your pardon, we are yet to look at the denominator part. The denominator, uh, that is 9x squared minus y squared, is a difference of two squares. Which ones? The 3x squared minus the y squared. And that gives us 3x minus y and the 3x plus y. At this point, we can easily now put the numerator over the numerator and we get numerator was 3x minus y and x minus y while the denominator had this one 3x minus y into 3x plus y now we look at what is common this divides out by 1 and this divides out by 1 and we get x minus y all over 3x plus y. So that is our simplified version of the original expression. At that point, we can look at the award of marks. In the numerator, once we are able to simplify to this level, m1, denominator is simplified to this level, m1. Putting them to, together, and coming up with the, the simplified answer A1 and that answer as 3 out of 3. So viewers, that uh, is a very good summary and I want to believe that you are now in a position to look at very many other questions that deal with simplifying quadratic expressions using either factorization or the difference of two squares or using the identities that we have highlighted in the past uh, part. At that point, I would like to thank all of you for joining me in this online lesson. Kindly do share the video, make comments, subscribe on the channel so that the moment we upload new videos, you'll be the first one to be notified. In Form 3 Mathematics, we hinted and we said we shall have a video on calculating the compound interest when higher purchase is the mode of buying or selling goods. That will be the upcoming video in, uh, in our online lesson. I've been your teacher, Steve Gitao and our channel at Steve Gitao 3660. See you next time.